What to Play presents the top 25 PC modern military shooters arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. Tango. Number 25. Call of Duty – Black Ops 4 Of course we begin the list with a Call of Duty title. One of the industry's best-selling first-person shooters takes us back to the forefront in a war for the future. It's the first of the series to completely remove its single-player campaign, giving more focus to its already impressive multiplayer modes such as its standard online battles and zombies. In addition to that, among them includes the addition of a battle royale mode called Blackout, where 100 players duke it out in a fast-paced shooting action. It receives a play score of 7.24. Number 24, Medal of Honor 2010 was a simple year where AAA military shooters, including EA, don't include shady business practices like loot boxes and microtransactions. Medal of Honor was a classic gem, especially when its story mode instantly puts us in the war-torn lands of Afghanistan. Like most FPS, the game truly shines in its multiplayer modes. Select from three unique classes that'd give you an edge in the battlefield. The first was at its peak during the early days and most of the players enjoyed the heck out of it. It receives a play score of 7.25. Number 23, Tom Clancy's The Division. The sequel may be out, but the first game did introduce us to a new yet familiar concept in shooters. It integrates role-playing elements into its bustling third-person shooter gameplay, which gives more freedom to the players. Set in a post-apocalyptic open-world New York, your task as part of the elite group of The Division is to find the source of a mysterious viral outbreak. Its multiplayer aspect was one of the Division's strongest points. Engage in competitive firefights with other players in its Dark Zone, an online-only area where you show your enemies who's New York's finest. It has a play score of 7.34. Number 22, Crisis 3. Crytek's proud creation paved the way for groundbreaking visuals in a first-person shooter game. It was graphically demanding at first. It even gave birth to Crisis memes which was all the talk back then. Although the franchise is well known for its impressive graphics and futuristic themes, this third installment was the weakest of the trilogy. The story mode was a common subject of criticism. It was weak and it's simply not the strongest aspect of 3. Fortunately, its multiplayer was better. With solid frame rates and hardcore moments mainly in its well-received hunter mode, it has a play score of 7.55. Number 21, Sniper Elite V2. If you want a real sniper game, look no further. Sniper Elite is Rebellion's critically acclaimed military shooter. Nothing is more satisfying than witnessing the game's iconic bullet cam, where every skillful shot rewards you with a smooth, slow-motion celebration of blood and gore. While its single-player mode is great, its multiplayer is fun too. It takes two to tango as you play with friends in its cooperative online modes or let them join you in your story mode adventures. It has a play score of 7.57. Number 20, Day of Infamy. Straight from the shadows of Insurgency, New World Interactive's mod is a visually stunning military shooter that feels like a Steven Spielberg film. Set in the heat of World War II, Engage in close quarters combat with realistic shooting with an authentic supply of weapons. Realistic here means you die in one shot, zero HUD, UI, and crosshairs, making every engagement feel like you're really fighting for your life. It has the same multiplayer modes with Insurgency, which is a team-oriented game. Work together with your buddies and choose whether you want to be a part of the Axis or the Allies. It has a play score of 7.81. Number 19, Titanfall. One of this era's renowned first-person shooters, Respawn's futuristic action shooter not only introduces a fast-paced environment as a proving ground for veteran players, it also injected a mech gameplay, where a new call on your massive robotic buddies from the sky to aid you in your battles. Keep your fingers crossed. Fight in 6 on 6 matches set in the confines of a science fiction colony called the Frontier. It has a play score of 7.82. Number 18, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Every gamer knows about the story of Captain Price and his band of soldiers. 
This award-winning first-person shooter plays Infinity Ward on top of the map, delivering a military shooter with an engaging story, impressive sound design, and gameplay polish. Its multiplayer is where the fun starts. Supporting local and online split-screen option, flex your hard-earned kill streaks or point streaks with your 360 no-scopes and more. It has a play score of 7.83. Number 17, Battlefield 4. When there's Call of Duty, there's Battlefield. Although the story is not as good compared to modern warfares, its multiplayer is one where you spend most of your time with. Just like Call of Duty, this is the game where you get to showcase your hard-earned first-person shooting skills, but it's rewarding online gameplay. Prove who's the best of the best in its notable modes like Deathmatch, Conquest, Domination, and Squad Deathmatch. It has a play score of 7.86. Number 16, Insurgency, Sandstorm. Another team-based tactical military shooter from New World Interactive. Like Insurgency, this is a realistic take on the brutality of war where players die in a single hit. Battle across expansive maps in up to 16 vs 16 player game modes or 8 player cooperative against AI, now with machine gun mounted drivable vehicles. Its immersive action continues to push the lengths of the shooter experience as you team up with your friends and engage in a thrilling close quarters matches. It has a play score of 7.86. Number 15, Verdun. Unlike most of the games on this list with fictional backdrops, Verdun serves as a history lesson about the merciless trench warfare in World War I. Considered as one of the bloodiest conflicts in world history, Verdun offers a realistic presentation of warfare. This includes bullet physics, detailed weapon design, and carefully researched moments in the Battle of Verdun. Its challenging game modes to play with friends are team-based front lines, tactical attrition, and skill-based rifle deathmatch. It has a play score of 7.86. Ready when you are. Number 14, Call of Duty, Black Ops. The first in the insane series of covert warfare from Activision, Go deep behind enemy lines as an elite black ops soldier and recover classified operations and more secrets all across the globe. Black Ops takes competitive play to new heights. Expect the fast-paced action-packed combat you love, with more features than ever before in its popular team deathmatch mode. It has a play score of 7.89. Number 13, Rising Storm 2, Vietnam. Tripwire Interactive sequel to Rising Storm is an improvised military shooter that offers intense action for up to 64 players. In battles between the forces of South Vietnam and those of the North, including the regular, main force units of North Vietnamese Army, plus the guerrilla fighters of the National Liberation Front. Each faction has its own strength and weakness, giving more player variety when it comes to skill. With an improved mobility and better weaponry to choose from, Vietnam is an epic shooter with a play score of 7.98. Number 12, Crisis 2. Don your NATO suit in this impressive futuristic military shooter from Crytek. Built from their very own CryEngine 3, this was among the first FPS titles that made gamers in awe in terms of visual and combat. Sure, the multiplayer was a bit weak, but the game's solid presentation was its strongest suit, pun intended. Travel around a now desolate New York with threats lurking around every corner. It's an urban jungle full of dangers and beauty. It has a play score of 8.12. Number 11, Insurgency. Valve Source Engine was a gift, and this realistic military shooter was just the beginning for New World Interactive. Similar to Day of Infamy and Sandstorm, it's a team-based shooter wherein realism greatly takes part. It's a highly competitive and unforgivingly lethal, striking a balance between one-life gameplay and prolonged action. The game is loaded with multiplayer modes, so there's no reason to dilly-dally around with all these battles to choose from. It has a play score of 8.14. 
Number 10, Arma 3. Arma 3 delivers a wide variety of single and multiplayer content, which includes over 20 vehicles and 40 weapons, and limitless opportunities for content creation. It's one of PC's crown jewels of military shooters. Form a squad and team up against your enemy in the official Defend and Seize multiplayer scenarios, or jump into one of the many popular unofficial game modes developed by the Arma 3 community. There's a lot to do here and considering it's a 6-year-old game, there's still a lot of players around. It has a play score of 8.17. Number 9, Sniper Elite 4. There's always more room for some satisfying sniper gameplay. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. 4 is the latest Sniper Elite title and it shares the same experience from the previous entries, but with more verticality and freedom. Set in World War II, killing Nazis with the game's signature bullet cam is straight up perfection. One bullet is all it takes to liberate wartime Italy from the grip of fascism. Co-op and multiplayer modes make a return, but it's not as great as doing the job solo. It has a play score of 8.22. Number 8. Rising Storm This is Tripwire Interactive's standalone expansion to Red Orchestra 2, Heroes of Stalingrad. All thanks to the impressive modding community, they brought together a title focused on the Pacific campaign of World War II. This realistic first-person shooter borrows most of its mechanics from Red Orchestra 2, but brings in a whole arsenal of American and Japanese weapons. Play between four of its playable factions, such as the U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Army, Imperial Japanese Army, and Special Naval Landing Forces. Relive the iconic moments from the Battle of Peleliu, Saipan, and Iwo Jima. A play score of 8.26. Number 7. Red Orchestra 2, Heroes of Stalingrad. Speaking of Stalingrad, this is Tripwire Interactive's reenactment of the Battle of Stalingrad. It serves as a sequel to their successful Ostfront 4145. The game is a PC exclusive. Lead our brave comrades in red as they face the Germans in the largest confrontation of the Second World War. Players must remain strategic and aggressive. It was heavily praised for its realistic portrayal of war. Like Insurgency, Day of Infamy, and Sandstorm, the game features no HUDs, no UI, and little to no handholding. It has a play score of 8.31. Number 6, Titanfall 2. A bigger and better version of Respawn's genre defining military shooter. Still set in a futuristic sci fi world, slide around with your refined parkour skills and tinker with hollow pilots, pulse blades, grappling hooks, and so much more. They pulled out all the stops in the sequel, creating an explosive return for their colossal franchise. Its single player campaign is lauded for its engaging story and great execution. In addition to that, its upgraded mech system improves the foundation for its exhilarating multiplayer action. It has a play score of 8.34. Number 5. Spec Ops The Line Let's move. One of the few games that realistically portrayed soldiers of war, Spec Ops The Line isn't just a mindless military shooter. It's an effective social commentary about violence and the effects of war. Its multiplayer is not as enjoyable as its single-player focus. It's a third-person shooter that doesn't really offer any innovation to the arena, but its deep narrative is what sets it apart from most titles. It has a play score of 8.39. Number 4, Battlefield, Bad Company 2. Now 8 years old, Bad Company 2 is still renowned as arguably the best of the entire series. Packed with impressive sound design and destructible environments, it felt like the most realistic battlefield game during its time. Ride around the ashen lands with cars and helicopters and discover the sweet thrills of its expansive squad-based experiences. While the multiplayer mode isn't as effective as before, it still remains as one unforgettable war experience. It has a play score of 8.43. Number 3, Battlefield 3. There's absolutely no avoiding the massive success of this Battlefield entry. This 11th installment of the famed first-person shooter sold over 5 million copies during its first week and gave birth to a growing multiplayer community. The game was praised for its two sectors, its online and single-player experience. Both are good in terms of gameplay and presentation, but nothing compares to its multiplayer. Players can choose between four roles to provide a helping hand in the battlefield. 
Choose from a wide variety of modes including Deathmatch, Rush, Conquest, and so much more. It has a play score of 8.44. Number 2. Counter-Strike Global Offensive Valve's leading first-person shooter is one of the games that set the groundwork for the future of shooters. Now, Global Offensive was built on the strong foundations of the already established franchise and slapping it on with updated visuals, improved multiplayers, and a few modes. It provides an intense skill-based system that even today, it still has an active community, especially esports. Coming in, Shroud getting one of the headshots. He's tapping away, Shroud. Can he do it again? He's up to 11 kills and looking for number 12. Are you kidding me, Shroud? While its punishing learning curve might be too much for newcomers, the grind is always worth it. It receives a play score of 8.46. Number 1. Gears of War 4 An unexpected champion, the king of cover shooters goes back to its roots. This fourth and latest title becomes a sort of tribute to their legacy. 25 years after the event of the original trilogy, Marcus Phoenix makes a return to the fray. Now aged and wise, he takes the role of a mentor to his son as they fight against a new threat. There's more destruction as you resist against norms and face off against unknown creatures with JD, Kate, and Dal. It's our last journey to the nostalgic past as Gears' new creators bring in a new generation of characters. Let's just forget about Gears 5. A play score of 